Yo, don't go anywhere. Check this out. We built this huge single roller which goes into this left hand berm that also goes into a double and a roller kind of split feature which is looking so sick and we've also built this massive junction where the mini main actually meets the pump track so you can interlink the two which looks like oh, that's going to be such a sick feature to ride because you can do laps of the pump track and join in but also we've built a well with a trap door yeah, it looks really cool as well and also well even gets a complete dumping of snow the whole place gets covered so that is that looks absolutely epic too but you're probably wondering why am i in the bike park because well fortunately green Sun trust have given me and a couple of others or whoever it be but just a couple of us who maintain and build up here to come up here and carry on maintaining the place so for when lockdown does lift hopefully we can give you guys something to a you know something to ride but in the meantime we're just gonna have to give you something to watch so uh, hopefully we can get this place up and running so it's ready for the summer because if we weren't allowed in here we'd have been so behind so i just want a big shout out to all the guys at green sands trust and please i know you want to ride but just stay out the park please and we'll just crack on and hopefully when we do open the doors you guys can just come and ride it and it's going to be so sick but anyway let's crack on with the build yeah Yes guys, we're back again. I hope everyone is doing good. We've got Chris Knight and J-Mo in the house. In fact, I'll put their accounts here. Here's J-Mo's one, DHB Daily. And then on this side, we've got Chris Knight's account. They're the OG builders of Woven. Right, so in today's one, what we're gonna do is put these tabletops in here, which are gonna be the same size as the second on the Mini Wayne, which I'll show you now. Right, so this is the second on the mini main. The idea is on the pump track, what we're going to do is build two tabletops the same size as this. So if you're not quite confident enough to kind of jump that one, what we'll do, we'll put the tables on the pump track so you can jump them, get a good feel for the size of that jump. Then hopefully you guys can then transition onto the mini main there. So it allows progression. So that's the idea with that. Now I'm going to go back to the pump track. So that's the idea behind it. So we're gonna put those two doubles here, but in a tabletop form. So, you know, you can allow yourselves to get over that. So it should be good. We've also got little Logan in the house today, helping us out. He's gonna come and say hello. Hello. You gonna, any, anything to say to anyone? Now we're part of the burn crew. You're part of the burn crew, well, that's about good. And then we've got his dad, Henry over there as well, helping us out. So we're gonna have a good day, aren't we? Yeah. And I, and I brought my own. Oh, well, there you go. We're all set. Let's get on with it. And we're all 
also going to be putting a link line here from the mini main with a raised bit here so the pump track can join in with the mini. Oh. I tell you what, I'm going to stop talking because there's just so much going on and I think it's just so much easier for you to watch it. Let's get it on. Right, so that section is looking so sick now. Like we've got that huge single roller here, and we've got that berm. There's that tree stump that we need to get out. Because of where that berm is actually sitting, we needed to get that out to make the corner a lot better, which then sets us up better for this kind of double roller sort of split thing. We're not quite finished yet, which then goes into the right-hand berm. And then over the back there, you see where we've got that junction where the mini main joins the actual pump track and the pump track joins the mini main. So you can actually go from the mini main, a lap on the pump track, and then from the pump track back to the mini main. So you could do so many laps, it's so cool. It just adds more to that trail, which is super sick. So with that being said, the next thing we were gonna do is build that well, which is super sick. So it's actually got that trap door in it as well and all sorts, oh, I'm giving it away, check it out. Right, as you can see, Woven's had a, quite a bit of snow, so uh, 
you can't really even work out what's going on anymore but it does look so epic just look at the place i tell you what i'm gonna get up on the top of this berm two six oh christ it's slippy let's have a little 360 pan around the place as you can see look, there's so much snow coming down looks really cool like you can even see like the pump track kind of all shaping up and then you've got the mini one in the middle which is looking really cool then over here like what we've been building is that giant roller it could be called something else <laughs> but uh, so that goes round into that berm then we've got like a, a sort of a step up sort of split with another big roller that comes into this berm then what we're trying to do Bear in mind, this is so slippy. It's absolutely lethal. We've dug all of this out. We've made like a split here. So where that mini main comes through, that's gonna be jumping right through and picking up another line that goes that way. So the mini line goes round here and goes back that way, but also it joins in with the pump track there. You probably can't even see it because I've got snow all over the lens and it's a complete whiteout. But I promise you there is a line in there somewhere uh, so that joins in there and then if you're doing laps bearing in mind before I slip on my backside so as you come around this mini main you can actually do a lap of the pump track come round here hold on so you can so you can pick up through here come into this berm and then down there to the right I'll show you actually before I oh, crikey so if you're on the mini main, you can come off this berm, through this roller, do one lap of the, the pump track, and then obviously this is the far end. So as you come back round here, we're making that transition through here. And then you've got two lines going in. So the mini main's gonna go back that way. So that is sick. So we've got some kind of like Birmingham spaghetti junction kind of setup going on here. Look at the snow. It just makes stuff look so cool. The ponds have been working absolutely fantastic, to be honest. The drains have been draining the mini pump track ever so well, so that's so good how that's working. And it's filling up these ponds. And yes, we've got that massive well thing over there, which I'm gonna come and show you now. I leave the goggles on. It just looks crazy. Love it. So yeah, there we've put this massive well thing in here and then we thought, oh, we'll put like a, a surround around it, you know, make sure, you know, we don't want animals falling in it or even little kids or even adults because there is some stupid ones out there. Uh, so we built that frame around there. Then we thought, oh, well, let's put a roof on it. So we put a roof on it and you know what we're like. It just escalated from there. So that's really cool. And then uh, we put like a moss and bark roof on it. So it kind of uh, camouflages it a bit as well. So it's not too much of an eyesore. But yeah, check this out. This is really cool. And also, that's where the well is in there. So I can actually put you guys in for a dunk. Fresh in there, eh? <laughs> yeah, so we've made some great progress. Shout out to the crew as always. You know, they're at unreal you know what we've achieved in such short amount of time so i would take me out off but it's freezing shout out to all of them for that shout out to you guys as well i think we're just going to cut to some dreamy stuff now do some nice shots around the place all right let's do it
Right, so I just want to say a massive shout out to the crew as always and all of you guys for watching. Um, stay tuned for the next one as we're going to do some lockdown updates with Roman because we've been given permission, like I said at the start, which is so good. Um, so hopefully when the park does open again, things are going to be more rideable because if it was left in this current state, there wouldn't be anything. But yeah, cool. So I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to let you guys crack on with your days and we'll see you in the next one. There's going to be a screen at the end. YouTube is recommending stuff in the algorithm. I suggest you go and watch it. All right. See you later, guys.